Seen it all through it. Don't stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. What is good? Good morning. I never know how to start these. I just feel like yelling just to figure, I don't know. Welcome to Wednesday's Dunk Life Daily. Every single fucking day, daily, all day long, today and tomorrow, and even yesterday. My Fitbit's going off, and we slept eight hours today. Let's go in one minute. That's after restfulness, wakefulness, whatever it's called, bro. My priorities are on point. What the hell's going on? Dunk Life Daily, baby. We're working on our passions. We're working on our dreams. And we're starting every day off with Rocket Fuel, which is this podcast where I yell at you. And by the way, speaking of podcasts, it's on every podcast platform. We got iTunes. We got Google. We got, uh, what's the other one? Spotify and um, Stitcher. Does anybody use Stitcher? It's for Android. You know, I'm just putting it out there so everybody's got there. Subscribe on those if you want to. Those are like the fastest way to listen to this because I publish those first just because it's the easiest thing to upload. And then YouTube as well. If you're listening, you could li- vice versa. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the support. It's been growing. I've been getting great feedback on the Dunk Live Daily, formerly known as a Still Spinning Podcast, formerly known as Something Conversations, formerly known as Something. I had 19 names. Names don't matter. Welcome to Dunk Life with your host, Dunk Life Daily Daniel. That's not my name, but it's somebody's. And it doesn't matter because I'm just this person and I'm not a person. I'm energy, bro. Let's get it. I'm uh, having a lot of fun doing everything I'm doing. I'm jumping really well. I'm working on my vert. I'm in that peak phase. My boy's coming to town this week. Tomorrow I'm dunking too. If you just saw my latest vlog, I was flying. It was just, even though it was just like a warm up light type of day, I felt like I was attacking a 10 foot rim harder than ever. Um, it takes time. Uh, I guess what I want, one thing I wanted to mention today was the results. A lot of times you see results, and it's that's what I want this podcast to be a part of as well. A, a part, this is that's a part that I also want to display on this podcast is my process because as I was creating content as I was dunking part of the problem or part of the struggle was seeing people make have results and I was wondering what happened in between and it's really inspiring when you see the bridge Uh, that's why I started vlogging first of all was because I saw people having the same questions that I had when I was dunking. So I was like, oh, this is a perfect way. I wanted to do well on YouTube. I liked making videos. So I'm like, oh, maybe people want like a daily dunking, not just Dunk Life Daily, but just more like workouts. And then uh, even further back is when I got inspired, uh, I was inspired to dunk because I saw people my height dunking. But then Andy Nicholson, Over the Hill Dunker, who I have so much love for, I love that dude, he's still training. He uh, showed his videos from week one to week 12 of dunking. So you could see the very small progress So it really, when you see something, I love visuals, like when you see something, but then you're able to see the bridge connecting you from you to your goal, it inspires you and makes you feel like it's a hundred percent possible. Instead of just seeing like a giant gap, you're like, how am I going to get over that gap? But meanwhile, you just have to get started and start doing that gap. Um, and everybody's path is different. Uh, so yeah, remember that everything takes time. And when you see somebody that's like Dunk Life Daily, if this is your first episode, shout out to everybody uh, that's new. I'm growing too on YouTube. It's super sick to see. I love all the new questions. If you have questions, the questions I want to uh, answer go in the comments on the YouTube video because I keep getting the same question over and over again, as I'm sure you're aware. So I try to answer those questions all you have, but also the YouTube comments are the best so other people can see them. Um, so if you're seeing this, this is the product of this podcast I've had for th- two years now at least. So if it sounds structured, no. If it sounds good, if it looks good, the quality, the light, the whatever it is, everything took so much time. Um, Even my own mindset of when it comes down to producing verbiage is like, I like, I realize the morning is when I'm fired up. It helps me set my day. Uh, and then it gets it out of my head. Cause I like to start the day off with this message. Speaking of the message is a daily friggin' email that you can subscribe to on my website that does all of this. It, if you like the written form too, I give a summary of the show. So if you just want like a quick blurb as your little motivational thing in the morning, um, I have that too. Point is, is that I love doing this in the morning and I start to slowly, um, craft, 
a process that works for me. And, but then like, you might not see it. Like somebody that just subscribes today only sees it right now and sees, oh, wow, this guy's fucking nuts. And I'm like, yeah, I built that up to show my nutsness at, in the best way possible. So stick to your process, keep figuring out what you want to do. And it's, to me, it's worth it. That's what it's all about. I don't know if it's a male thing. I always think about that. Is that like progress and going nuts and trying to conquer the most you can part of it? Um, yeah, but other people want to make progress too, like females, but you do what you, you do what you want to do. Uh, I was talking about yesterday about the passion, like figure out what mountain you want to climb because sometimes a, a, a passion looks cool, but it's just cause it looks cool, but figure out what's core to you. And I wanted to talk more about that today. And, um, one way to do that, what was I about to say with that is, um, whew, I forget the question I had, but either way. Keep working on what you want to do. That passion comes through. Oh, I do remember. Let's go. I'm so glad I remembered. Is that you can't compete with the passion. So if you're choosing that mountain based on your passion and you want to climb that mountain, you're starting and all these things holding you back. You don't know where to start. You don't know what the secret to jumping is. You don't know um, how to get started. What's the best way to start a YouTube channel, whatever it is. Follow your passion and what you love to do because when things they say when things get tough the passion comes through But it's more than that. It's like this is that this seems like a lot of work to some people I think it's like every morning. I'm producing this. I'm setting up this goddamn light I got to keep track of how much data is on my computer because I'm running out I got to get this up in time. I want to I want to do it every day I got to come with ideas. It seems like work But yesterday I was thinking what do I want to talk about today and I was thinking you know what? I want to, I, I love doing it. So the, like the challenge is a challenge. I'm like, oh, I got to Like my first, I was like, oh, I got to come up with something, but I love the result. So when I challenge and I, I say challenge accepted and I come up with something and I do it and I nail it and I spit that fire like I'm doing right now, it sounds like I'm about to drop some bars with no beat acapella. I love it. So if you're somebody that's trying to do a daily podcast that doesn't like talking, but thinks it's lucrative and wants to make the most out of what they can do and feels like they're good at talking, whatever it is, is that you're never going to exceed someone who's doing it out of passion just because the person who's doing it out of passion loves that challenge. So even if you're willing to work just as hard and you're matching them at every stage, I just, I think that the passionate person is doing it out of love and the other person's doing it out of ego, whatever the hell it is, but it's, they just think it's like a lucrative method for them to do whatever it is. It's not pure love. So it's a harder emotion to work with. And I think it takes a bigger toll on you. Plus you can keep going with passion and, and you, you never stop this one. You're going to get burnt out. Cause at some point you're going to be like, why am I doing this? And it, you're going to get burnt out. So I just think you cannot compete with passion. So whatever you're doing, um, do with your passion because you're going to make the most out of it. You're going to have the most um, energy to do it. And also, um, in the end, it'll be the most fulfilling. So I think that's um, something that I really want to make sure you guys are doing is follow your passion because then no one can compete with you and also you'll love it the most. And yeah, try to compete with me on this, boy. I got double videos <laughs> now. I got a vlog sometimes on two days, but I'm doing the DLD daily, baby. The Dunk Live Daily Daily. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I love doing it. Um, and there are some things that I tried to do that are, um, that were mistakes that I wanted to do all the time and make it consistent. And that's my biggest thing is that I love to do them, but I got to figure out what works in my lifestyle. And that'll probably be another video. Um, working with things that are in your life. So anyway, can't compete with passion boy. It's the best way to be. I love doing it. It fills me with so much energy and that's what I love to do. But I got to remember other people have different perspectives and different things. Find what you want to do. That's the message. Get it out there. Uh, have a great day. What's today? Oh, what the frank is Wednesday? Happy freaking hump day. And we're dunking tomorrow. And Saturday is going to be the top of the line day. Probably going to get my freaking teeth at the rim. I might go to a baby rim tomorrow, 9-9, nine, nine, and just put my uh, elbow from underneath the rim because I jump so high and, and throw myself an alley-oop and do it. Anyway, I'm flying. It's so much fun. All right. Check out my latest vlog for that one. Only one more thing to say, I think, and that is... Toodaloo! Every day that's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.